Um, can I get a motion to call the meeting to order? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Or are we, uh, Victoria, are you sending me a uh, I just wanted to add that. <clears throat> I'm logging in now, Victoria. Okay. So who do I have? Everybody? Alex? It's everybody. Okay. Aye. <laughs> okay, I'm good. So I'm sorry, who motioned? Who second? We're in motion, Chris second. Are we voting via electronic? Or are we are doing it verbally? No, we can do electronic. Everybody, um, if everybody's good to go, here it comes. Sounds good. Yep. Just waiting for Alex and Susan. Sorry, can I give you a verbal eye? I'm yeah. charging yeah. off. That's unanimous. Thank you. And for the push. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. It's America. And the Republic. And to the Republic. Stands one nation, one nation under God. God. Indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Okay, now we have a bunch of action items that, um, you know, this was originally supposed to be just to accept the results of the budget vote. Um, and then I was told that there were just a few things um, to add. So uh, I think Victoria or Jeff, you know, sent emails about them, but I understand that not everyone has had time to review or digest. So happy to do whatever we need to do, you know, but figured it wasn't worth not putting them on the agenda. We might as well have them on. And then if there's something we need to table, we can table. Um, and then we do have a matter to go into executive session. Um, so I sent all board members an email link to that exec uh, for after we get through the action items. Uh, Jordana? Yep. Um, I'm just gonna, I've, I've got to, I can't stress this enough. The, the last minutes really should be the exception and not the rule. And Yesterday, when I emailed asking if there was anything besides accepting the budget vote, and I was told no. And then this afternoon, while a lot of us are running around working, we have four items added and an exec added we didn't know about. We were given no heads up that we're going into exec when some of us may have had other plans. I just am going to ask that we have better protocols in place. Yep. And if you want, we can do none of these. Uh, it's just more about, you know, since there were things that the district needs to get done to get it done, you know, figured we'd add them, but we can. Anything you don't feel comfortable addressing right now, we can totally table. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't reviewed uh, anything, so I'll just abstain because I haven't reviewed it. That's all. All right. And Chris, Jordan is working too all day too, okay? So everybody's just dealing with the situation and trying to move it along. So if you don't want no, to- No, I, I understand, but, but the <laughs> protocols you've been trained on is to not do this. So I'm just requesting yeah. that if stuff's that, added last minute that we get an alert like a text or something so we even know to look at our email, you know, hours before the meeting. That's great, but you know, if we're not on a NISBA conference call all day and emergencies come up, we're gonna have to deal with them. Um, and you know what, maybe it makes sense since some of these, since we haven't had time, um, Jeff or you know, anybody as we go through each one, I don't know if Jeff, you know, your familiarity with each one of them, but perhaps you know, if there's anything that needs some clarification, we, we could just go through some of them on the fly or answer questions to the extent necessary. Mm -hmm. Sure, I think that um, <clears throat> the first three, two and three, three were corrections that uh, the payroll person who takes care of it put forth. I think we could table those um, and allow ample time for whoever has questions to ask them. Um, 3.4 and 3.5, uh, those I think we probably should address. 3.4, uh, this is last minute. But a lot of this is last minute because of the guidance that was last minute that came down from the state saying that we were uh, approved to run summer school uh, for our classified students. And we had to post uh, interview hire all in a very short time frame. Uh, and this is the last board meeting um, before that program starts. So I would recommend that you move on 3.4. Uh, and 3.5, uh, 
I think all of you are familiar with that uh, to the extent that uh, we've discussed that before, but I'll leave that to you guys. So we can poll 3-2 and 3-3. I suggest we poll we, uh, on 3-4 and 3-5, uh, up to you guys. Okay, yeah, I think why don't we go 3-1, <coughs> mean, and because 3-2 and 3-3 also look very straightforward to me, so, um, you know, yeah. either way. I'm okay. I, why don't we just take them in order and we'll see if there's a motion uh, or otherwise. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So uh, three, one, can I get an, a motion to uh, accept the results of the budget vote and election? So moved. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I just want to thank everybody who ran. Um, I want to congratulate all the winners and I want to thank the staff that worked late into the night uh, with the arduous task of manually counting all of those ballots. It was something that, that we've never counted that many ballots before, and I, I appreciate all that, that made that happen last night. Yep, and I echo that sentiment. Thank you to everybody. Hi. <laughs> Three point one is unanimous. Great. Uh, can I get a motion to approve? Item 3.2, rescinding the appointment um, of a buddy mentee appointment. So moved. Second. Any discussion? No, it seems, Jeff, just for clarification, Jeff, this was just a, a clerical error. This is nothing changing aside from just consistency from what we approved in the January meeting. Correct, Brian. Thank you. So, Jeff, what is the difference between three two and three three then? Because the three two doesn't ha doesn't I don't think show what was a point what we voted on. There's no attachment to that, so we can't compare the two. So, what's the change? So, uh, so the payroll person, uh, the employee who handles this, came in today and said to me, Jeff, I have to put a last uh, minute. Um, change on the board agenda because I made a clerical mistake. And I said, well, are we, are we addressing it and are we appointing the person for services that she's rendered? Uh, and she said, yes. So that's, that's what I know. So we don't know what the difference is between the two. We just know it's correcting an error, but we don't know what the error was. Right. That's it's a, it's a, um, it looks like apparently, it, Chris, if you look in 3.2, there's executive content. So that's, it doesn't describe the amount, but it, it discusses that they're, what the error related to. No, no, I understand that. I was just, I, we don't know what the difference is. Okay. Aye. Okay, that's six, yes. And Chris Tice abstained. Can I get a motion to approve item 3.3, three, which is the appointment for the mentor, and I guess the, the, the corrected version? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Aye. That is six yes, and Chris Tice abstained. Motion carry. Can I get a motion to approve item 3.4, the appointment of extended school year and compensatory session staff? So moved based on uh, Jeff's explanation earlier. Second. Okay. Any discussion?
Hi. <laughs> Very good timing, Alex. That's unanimous. That's unanimous. Thank you. Timing's everything in life. <laughs> Can I get a motion to approve item 3.5, um, approving the general counsel so services? So moved. Okay. I need a question. I just had one question that I, when, I, when I saw this a few minutes before I came on and saw that we were voting on it, I'd emailed, so I don't know if I had got an answer. Did we have um, council review this contract? I did not. Um, I did not show the contract uh, to other council to review. Would we normally show the contract to another council to review? Well, when we have contracts that have to do with our primary council, we outsource it to another council. Uh, it may be the same language, but just by practice, it's recommended to do that. So that's why I asked. Have we done that in the past, Chris? I don't think we've done that before. Earlier Wait. in my tenure, we did. I, I don't know if Katie did. I certainly know that Katie's predecessors did, yes. So maybe we haven't done it in the last six years? I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't, you know, I'm asking because I didn't know it was on here and just want to make sure the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. Because I didn't, like I said, I didn't know till 20 minutes ago we were voting on it tonight. I know we didn't do that last year and you didn't bring it up last year, Chris. Yeah, I didn't. I, I'm trying to be thorough, so I'm asking now. It appeared to be the same in my review of it, retainer agreement as um, from Mr. Vol's firm last year. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm individually okay moving forward with it. Uh, however, the board feels I know there's a motion out and I believe a second. So I think we should vote and see. Unless someone wants to adjourn for a reason, we can entertain that. And we discussed it the other night. So I'm, good. I'm good as well. Aye. Uh, waiting for Brian. Oh, I didn't see it pop up yet. Sorry. That's five yes, Yorgos opposed, and Chris Tice abstained. Motion carried. Um, can I get a motion to adjourn into executive session to discuss um, with respect to the employment of particular people? So moved. Okay. Any discussion? We'll have to do it um, verbally. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that's seven, seven zero motion carried. Thanks all. Thank you. Thank you.